Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in and today I'm just going to have a little look at a, a cheap or a, even a free solution to a problem you might have encountered with prime focus photography and this applies really only to users of refractor telescopes and there's a possibility that at some point you want to do a little bit of prime focus photography and you will either have a bought yourself a little T adapter there that slides into where the eyepiece would go, 1.25 inch fitting uh, or, or 2 inch fitting depending on which focuser you have and you want to connect a T ring and then a SLR, uh, DSLR camera body and what you'll find is that maybe there is not quite enough outward focus with the with the T-ring to get the camera out to get infinity focus or in other words to focus on the stars and note that with some telescopes you'll already have that T-thread on the focuser so all you'll be using is this so what you can do is you can go and buy these spacers which the T2 extensions which then take the camera a little bit further out from the telescope body and you may be able to then get infinity focus uh, or you can go and buy a extension tube with, with a T uh, thread on the end of it or, or you can use an extension tube with the extension tube by the way it goes in where this would go into the telescope focuser and then you would put this inside it and the extension tube would bring it out further so you can get infinity focus but that 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 means going out and spending some extra money but maybe you've already got in your telescope kit something that may already be a solution and um, you probably oh you see this right this is a celestron barlow lens but it's probably the same as the sky watcher um, deluxe Barlow lens. Now what you can do quite simple really if for the sake of argument you're 30 or 40 millimeters short of getting focus and what you can do is remove eventually the lens out the Barlow not all lenses come out as easy as those, some that you, you might need a uh, little bit of a tool. And then what you do, well you don't, you don't actually need to put this T adapter in here because this has already got a T thread. But maybe your Barlow has not got that T thread in which case you would do that. And so what you have there is about 40 millimeters more outward travel so you should then be able to get infinity focus and that will solve the problem and something you'll notice with this Barlow lens there's a little groove there and that, that's what you're looking for if you're looking to do prime focus photography with any Barlow lens or some form of extension tube make sure it's got that little groove there because that holds it secure in the focuser it can't slip down and believe me if you've got a 500 pound uh, camera on the end of this you don't want it slipping off because that would be bad news and you can also get th these cheap Barlow lenses this is a cheap plastic one same as the other Barlow lens you can remove that there and then I've already measured it that will give you about 30 millimeters of outward travel but this is it is plastic and there is no groove in there it's very smooth so ask yourself is it worth the risk you know it is possible in practice but be aware that won't be given as a secure grip as the previous Barlow lens with that groove in and hopefully with if, if you do have the, these extra little accessories like a Barlow and, and a T-adapter kicking about already as part of your telescope kit then you may not even have to go out and buy another extension tube or the the T2 extensions that I showed you earlier and that should hopefully help you get prime focus with a refractor telescope with that extra outward travel that you need 
with Newtonian telescopes, and I guess that's another video, the problem you get with those is you don't have enough inward travel. And the way to do around that would be then to put the Barlow lens all back together again and put that in the focuser and you should then be able to get infinity focus with it with most Newtonians. It doesn't work for them all. The only downside to that is it will double the focal length of the telescope and also the F ratio meaning that you will need to have longer exposure times. So as always I hope that helps. Thank you very much for watching and please check out the links in the description below. Oh and one last thing if you see a subscribe button down in that corner feel free to press it, it costs nothing to do so and it will alert you then of any new videos that I've put up. So thank you very much for watching as always again and goodbye for now.